or the call to uh, Mexico? Well, I've taken a little poll over here, and uh, there's no doubt over here. The, uh -huh. the, pressing, the man with the pressing needs uh, from Nigeria. Oh, yeah. The man who went to the Atlantic City. Uh, All right. That's what we want to see. Come on down here, uh, Christine. Here. All right, we're going to call uh, Nigeria. First of all, tell me if that looks like the correct number to you. That look like it'll do it? Yes, it is. All right. When was the last time you spoke to anybody at home? Uh, about a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago? How were they then? Everything okay? Fine. Okay. And uh, had your uncle inquired about the uh, videotape machine at that time? He does uh, every time. And, and what do you tell him uh, when he asks about it? Well, I, uh, I'm a bit evasive. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's going to happen when he finally shows up and, and wants to watch, uh, you know, cartoons or something and you don't have it? <laughs> Well, that's why. Yeah. What's I his name? Find out. Femi. Femi. Right. All right. It's international night. Mel Kachita is here. We have the uh, Kenny Rogers Hello. of Norway. Hello. Uh, is this a Femi? Yes. Femi. Uh, my name is David Letterman. I'm calling from uh, New York City in the United States. How are you tonight, sir? I'm fine. And how are you? I'm just fine. How is the uh, weather in uh, Lagos? Uh, it's fine. Uh huh. Very cool and nice. Yeah. Uh, what time is it there? Um, 11.44. Yeah. Uh, wh when, when was the last time you talked to your uh, nephew, uh, Femi? Uh, about uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. And I understand that you wanted him to purchase for you a uh, piece of equipment. What was that exactly? Um, a videotape. Uh-huh. And how, how did the transaction seem to be going when you last talked to uh, Tosin? Um, well, I wanted him to get me the video. Yeah. Because uh, I'm interested in some of the activities there, like the sporting activities. Yeah. Now, did you, did you get the feed? Uh, I wanted him to get it for me and uh, do some taping so that when I come down, uh, I can get the tapes, you see. Yeah. And... Uh, so he seemed to... He told me he would be able to do it for me. He, he would be able to do it for you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Tosin is, is, is right here, Fammy, and he explained to me that because of pressing needs, uh, he doesn't have that money anymore. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's right. He, uh, well, it turns out he spent it all on candy and gum. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. How now, serious are you? I'm sorry? Are you serious? Uh, yes, I am. Is he there? He, yes, he's, he's right here. Would you like to talk to him? Can I talk to him? Yeah. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to put him on right now. He's right here. There okay, you go. thank you. Nice talking with you. Thank right. you very much. Yes, there's your uncle. Hello? Hello, Tosi. Yes? What's happening to you there? Well, I'm fine. Good? Uh... It's uh, yeah, well, um, <laughs> like you heard, uh, well, I don't have the machine yet, but uh, I'm, I'm uh, hoping to do something about it. Uh, that's a bit disappointing. It means I'm going to miss some of those... Um, okay, activities. well, this is probably uh, <laughs> probably a good time to leave these two. We'll be right back to meet the International Light. And uh, my first guest is a mind reader who is, uh, he was sent to Siberia because he refused to use his abilities for the KGB. We're happy to have him here with us tonight. Welcome, please, the Kreskin of Russia, Mr. Lev Schneider. Lev, how are you? Nice to meet you, sir. And uh, you are going to be doing the translating for us. What is your name, sir? Nikolai. Nikolai, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Uh, ask uh, Lev, uh, first of all, tell him welcome to the show, and nice to see him, and thanks for helping out here on International Night and what have you. Добро пожаловать на эту передачу, и он хочет пожелать вам получить удовольствие от этого. Спасибо. Good. Now, you were a, a, a major performer in the Soviet Union. You used to perform before crowds of 20,000 doing uh, mind reading and so forth. Вы были в... У вас была большая аудитория в Советском Союзе? Да. Я очень много лет проработал на сцене. Ага. And then the, the KGB asked him to go to work for them? Uh, and then did, did the KGB ask you to go and work for them later? Пожалуйста, спросите меня. КГБ предложило вам работать на них? 
Да, они предложили мне сотрудничать. Yeah. Uh, yes, to work for them. Uh -huh. And uh, you obviously refused, and now you're in this country, and we're happy to have you here. Uh -huh. Now, uh, how did you d develop this ability to read minds? Uh, как вы выработали эту способность uh, читать мысли? Я начал работать на сцене, когда мне было 12 лет. В 15 лет я почувствовал, что я, я много лет гипнотизировал до этого. А потом я начал заниматься психологическими опытами. Он начал работать на сцене, когда ему было 14-15 лет. И тогда он понял, что он чувствовал, что он мог читать людей. Вы психологическим работаете в области психологических опытов? Я работаю в области психологических опытов, и я занимаюсь лечебным гипнозом. Yes, he does uh, psychological experiments and also hi hypnosis. Uh -huh. Oh, so you do a little hypnosis. All right, now we have a... Mm, uh, he, he does treatment. Treatments, okay. Hypnotic treatment. We have uh, an experiment that we're going to do in the studio tonight. Is that correct? Uh, sure. He wants you to hide any, any object. And he, also, he wants you to uh, conduct uh, his act, his, to lead him with, with your thoughts. Okay. And yeah. he's going to find the object. All right. Now, we, uh, earlier this afternoon, about 3 o'clock, I actually hid a piece of property somewhere in the immediate studio area. And as I understand it, Lev is now going to have no idea where it, where it is, and he is now going to lead me to that object. Is that... Correct? Is that pretty much uh, what we're going to uh, do? Uh, он спрятал предмет uh, в студии, и uh, это, uh, вы собираетесь найти этот предмет. Вы не знаете, где он сейчас находится? Нет, я не знаю, что за предмет, я не знаю, какой, где спрятан. He has no idea what kind of object it is, and right. he doesn't know where it is now. Okay, so, uh, now, I don't think we need uh, you, do we, for this? We don't I need don't the interpreter. So. All right, you just stay here and uh, uh, be in charge of crowd control. Uh, <laughs> now, what, 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 what do you want me to do? I just... I grab you. Uh, yes, he, wa he wants to take, you, to take him by his hand. Okay, now, now let me see what we're doing here on time. Do we, do we want to do it now? We get right to it? Okay. Okay, now I concentrate on where I put this thing, right? Okay. Okay. Пусть он мне точно и четко диктует, куда я должен идти и что я должен взять. Точно и четко. More clearly. I can't say anything, can I? That, that'll ruin this whole deal if I talk, right? Okay. Okay. Есть. Еще, еще. Еще, 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 еще. Еще, еще. Еще. Пусть он продиктует мне, точнее, пусть он следит за мной и мысленно мне говорит, куда я должен идти. Он хочет меня работать больше. Он хочет меня работать больше. Окей? Окей. Да. Хорошо. 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 Еще. 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 Мысленно, но точно и четко. Так. Так. Угу. Угу. Мысленно, но точно и четко. Так. Так. Еще. Еще раз. Еще раз. Еще раз. Но. Почему он не диктует сюда? Почему? Может, еще. 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 Я не понимаю. Еще. Еще. Еще раз. Ну. Еще раз. Еще раз. Еще раз. Еще раз. Еще раз. Еще. Ну. 
No, 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 no. Еще, 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 еще. Это... Ну. Ну. Yes, yes. Еще, 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 еще раз, еще раз. Ну. Окей, окей. Ну. Yes, yes, yes. Еще, 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 еще раз. Еще, еще раз. Еще, еще. Еще, еще. Yes, yes. Ну. Ну, ну, ну. Еще, 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 есть. All right, okay. That's it. Yes, it's a kind of thing that we, we hit earlier. But uh, very nicely done. Yes, sir. Very, very nice job. Uh, we have to do a commercial, and then you're going to do another one for us if we have the time. Without we'll dividing us, it is only fitting that we turn to cheese as the glue by which one nation sticks by another. In that spirit, let us begin with France. The electric excitement of Gay Paris is captured in this tart, pungent, and altogether daring cheese from France. Blue cheese. Say, she bombed. This is, uh, see, earlier I had a uh, pound of hair. That was, uh, uh, this is a very impressive demonstration, and doubly so because uh, it was difficult for me to concentrate and also because of the distraction of the audience and the lights and the cameras and the band and so forth. Uh, and we hit it a, a pretty good distance from uh, anything he would be familiar with. So uh, tell him that we certainly are impressed by his abilities and, and congratulations on a nice job. And then she tries to run the little bit of computer. Run the little bit of IT, but almost, you know, it's really concentrated with him. She tries to, it has a big success. I tell you what, which we, might, we have some of this here, we'll just give you a little as a, there you go, as a, as a souvenir, we'd like you to have this, and, and come back and, and be with us any time. Yes, sir. Uh, my guest. Uh, these are the cheeses. We were originally going to have, uh, have him do another experiment in the audience, but uh, obviously this ran a little long, but it was well worth it, so we'll, we'll have to ask you to come back on International Night Number 3. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zeb. Uh, we got to go away here for uh, station identification. We'll okay. be back. Unwrap a slice of American cheese and let loose the mild taste of the heartland. <laughs> Say, see, <c> bon. <laughs> Back to the show, folks. It's uh, International Night, and uh, on tomorrow's program, let me give you an example. You've all seen this one, of course. It means no smoking. Well, we have now a pile that are under consideration for approval by the United Nations, and let's show you some of those. Uh, for example, this one, uh, this is a sign that we'll be seen around Miami and other affluent retirement communities. It warns motorists, caution, tiny old ladies driving enormous automobiles. Could be approved, uh, not necessarily. Oh, no, this is, uh, I think this is darn helpful. Uh, all around the world, this sign can be found posted near the finer restaurants and hotels. Warning, Dickies must be worn with a shirt. Okay, uh, now you're going to find this one in almost any wooden toy shop or factory. Please clean up sawdust after making toy dogs. Yeah, I didn't think so. Who would like this one? Just go see the nurse if that's a deep laceration. <laughs> uh, most university and college towns have posted these warning signs in certain dangerous areas. Caution, fraternity hazing in progress. <laughs> I'll take the groan. I'll take the groan. Uh, this one is worth remembering if you're planning on taking a long car trip, and who isn't, by the way? Ten miles to the nearest pocket comb vending machine. <laughs> Yeah.
hang on to that for the anniversary show. Uh, uh, any serious world traveler and gourmet will immediately recognize this deadly, uh, the deadly significance of this symbol. Caution, uh, the chef in this restaurant has dandruff. <laughs> oh, come on. The Steve Martin of Peru will be here now. You don't want to get him depressed, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you can save yourself a lot of heartbreak and frustration if you can just remember the meaning of this sign. This car wash strictly prohibits cattle. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I'd like this woman in the second row to have that one. She applauded that. That's all hers. Take it home. Amuse your friends with that, ma'am. Uh, this sign was once limited only to the Spanish-speaking nations. Now it can be found in almost every nation of the free world. Line forms here for Menudo auditions. <laughs> And finally, I believe we have time for just one more. This one is posted before a championship bout where one of the participants is either a great white hope or the son of a former heavyweight champ. Caution, mismatch ahead. Uh, I don't care, ladies and gentlemen, because... It Plan B. To the arid plains of Kenya, African Touareg cheese is a big favorite. Say, <laughs> eat, bomb. National Night a long time ago, and he's back tonight by popular demand. Please welcome the Steve Martin of Peru, Mel Cochita. Dice que venía de su trabajo el chino maíz. Y este chino agarra y pasa por Manhattan y se le presentan cuatro delincuentes con un cuchillo. Eran las tres de la mañana. Y el chino los ve a los cuatro delincuentes que tenía su periódico bajo el brazo y suelta el periódico. El chino hace... señor va a su casa, abre la puerta, abre la puerta y encuentra a un hombre dentro de su casa que estaba desnudo y el hombre estaba así. Y le dice, oiga, ¿qué hace usted aquí? Matando las polías, pues idiota. ¿Cómo que matando las polías si está usted desnudo? ¡A caramba! ¡Se comieron mi ropa! Pasa, pasa un señor por el manicomio y detrás de la pared escucha unas voces que decía ¡Ocho! 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 El hombre agarra una escalera, se sube arriba y a vuelta hacia los locos y los locos agarran unos pedrones y ¡Po! 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 El hombre se cae al suelo ¡Po! Y los locos gritan atrás de la pared ¡Nueve! 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 Va un elefante a un bar y le dice, mozo, deme un whisky a la roca. Y el mozo lo mira al elefante que habla y comienza a temblar y le hace... ¿Cuánto es? Eh, diez dólares, señor. El elefante saca de aquí el bolsillo. Ahí están los diez dólares. Y el hombre... Gracias. Y el elefante, ¿por qué está usted temblando? Es que la primera vez que veo un elefante tomar whisky y la última con los precios que cobra, desgraciado. Va un mexicano, mexicano, al señor cura dice, a confesarse, dice, oiga, señor cura, es verdad que usted separa las mujeres buenas de las mujeres malas. Y el cura le dice, sí, hijo mío, yo separo a las mujeres buenas de las mujeres malas. Y el mexicano le dice, a ver si me separa dos buenas para el sábado. <risa> dice, dice que va, un, un loco estaba leyendo una guía telefónica. 
Y viene otro loco, le dice, ¡Ay! ¿Me prestas tu novela? Y el loco agarra la guía telefónica y se la da. Sí, pero me la traes mañana. Ya. Al día siguiente regresa el loco y le dice al otro loco, ¿Y te gustó la novela? Sí, muy bonita la novela. Lo malo que tiene muchos personajes. <risa> Y dice que en un barco de piratas estaba el pirata, agarra y dice, mi capitán, yo creo que en el barco hay un homosexual. Y eso, ¿y cómo lo sabe usted? Porque se han robado mi neceser con mi pestaña postiza, mi suya postiza y todo, gracias. This is uh, Mel, nice to see you. And uh, George Rohr, nice to see you again. George, you're going to help us out with the translation, I know. Uh, first of all, tell him we enjoyed his comedy as always, and thanks for being back on the show. Dice que disfrutó mucho su comedia, y gracias por estar de vuelta en el show. Now, uh, did you get a lot of uh, notice when you were on the show the last time? A lot of people uh, recognize you, get a lot of uh, print over it, publicity? La última vez que usted vino al show, mucha gente lo reconoció después, y hubo mucha publicidad. Sí, un montón me reconocieron para cobrarme las deudas que le debo. A lot of people uh, recognize them to, uh, to collect their debts. Oh, to collect their debts, I see. Now, I know that when you were here last time, you had your picture taken with some uh, famous NBC personalities, and this is a picture of uh, Mel Kachita with uh, Sue Simmons. <laughs> so, so they're... Uh, Transvestite on the boat, huh? Well, um, now, do you know who Steve Martin is? You're the Steve Martin of Peru. Do you know the American Steve Martin? Usted sabe quién es en realidad Steve ¿Cómo Martin? ¿Cómo que no va a saber Dean Martin quién es si yo le enseñé a hacer comicidad a ese señor? He said, of course he knows who Dean Martin is. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe, let me try it again. Steve Martin, the Steve famous Martin. American. Dean Martin, el eh, eh, americano. Very good. Yo lo vi yeah. eh, en Washington. Muy bueno. Washington. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Very Washington. good. Terrific. Very yeah. well, well, well. Now, if Steve Martin went to Peru, would he be the Mel Cachita of Peru? <laughs> si Steve Martin eh, se fuera al Perú, uh, él, él también sería el Melcochita de Perú. Claro, es magnífico, tremendo comediante. No, he'd, be the, he'd be the Melcochita of America, wouldn't he? The way oh, that works out. That's right. Steve Martin. That's okay. Right. And he Terrific said that job. He's a marvelous comedian. Well, nice, nice of you to be here, sir. Come back uh, for International Night Number Three. Oh, yeah, we got, got the album. Also an album. Okay, it sings also. Uh, we'll be back with more of International Night, folks. The Kenny Rogers of Norway. The Greek feta cheese is the perfect complement to black olives and pita bread. Mmm, sexy bomb. It sings uh, both in Norwegian and English. His album, which I have a copy of right here, is called The Gamelost Song, and we're delighted to uh, be having him sing a song from it tonight. Please welcome the Kenny Rogers of Norway, Otto Blihovdi. Otto. <laughs> Kjøre vatten og kjøre ved Og kjøre tømmer over øya Og kjøre den du kjøre vil Jeg kjøre jenta mi øy Det røde roser har i øyne blå Det vakre jenter holder jeg i tå Hvis når jeg får den jeg vil ha Da er det moro sant å leve Det er i tre i min faders gård Det har så underlige griner Og blir jeg ikke gift i år Da vil jeg leve Alene, de røde roser har i øyne blå, de vakre jenter holder jo ei på, helst i dag. I don't know, what was the song you just played and sang there? Oh, hauling water and hauling wood, and then you hold the girls, and if you get the one you like, you like that best of all, you know. Now, how did you get to be known as the Kenny Rogers of Norway? Oh, just singing around. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, uh, uh, you, you're from Norway? <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm from Wisconsin, no. You're from anyway. Wisconsin. Now, but <laughs> 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 but you, uh, you, you were born in Norway. 
No, no, you, no. You're born in Wisconsin. Uh, born in Wisconsin. But your your family, you're of Norwegian heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, we can accept yeah. that. Close enough. Yeah. What uh, what kind of instrument is this? What do you call that, Otto? An accordion, I call it. You call that an accordion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what I would have called it also. Uh, and uh, is the record doing pretty well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sold a few of them. Yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much for taking time out of your schedule. A favorite with the Dutch for years. Good as soft texture, a mild aroma. Has found its way to cocktail parties the world over. Say, see, oh. Late, uh, late Night's International Night is uh, number two has come to a close. I want to thank everybody who was here. Lev Schneider, Mel Kachita, Otto Blihovde, uh, Paul Schaefer, uh, Bill Wendell, uh, the studio audience. What a fine group of folks. Tomorrow Closing night. remarks for our yeah. friends in the studio audience and our worldwide television audience also. As the peoples of the world should come together, so will these cheeses in the spirit of solidarity and humanity. Okay. I hereby combine and blend the cheeses of the world <laughs> to form what we will name the Brotherhood Cracker Spread. Okay, here we go. See, how about that? <laughs> one, one. I'm trying, I'm trying, they're not blending. <laughs> Needs a little more, I think. Oh, come on now. Okay. You need some help, Larry? What's the deal? Yes, I do. I don't know what's going wrong here. It's not blending too well. Oh, that's all right. It's all right? Yeah, that's all right. Which, which it's all right for me. It? I'm not eating it. We'll stop it now. <laughs> yeah, I think you... a lot. Yeah, turn it off. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh. There we go. See, brother. And now in a gesture of good faith, I will partake in the first brotherhood hors d'oeuvres. Join me, one and all. It's kind of touching, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Now, where is my little... Aww. Just go ahead and dig in there, Larry, if you will. I'm sorry, I should have my spread. Well, you don't need a spread. Just no. get in there and put it... <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, there we go. Nope, here, give everybody a... Go ahead, folks. Dig in. Boy, right, what a night. What a night. Isn't it been... Unbelievable.